Uh, yes, please come in. Yeah, hi, please have a seat. Thank you so much. So, Raghava, right? Yes, sir. Okay, Raghava, can you tell me about yourself? Good morning, ma'am. My name is T. Raghava. I am from Tandul, Andhra Pradesh. I have to complete my graduation after K. Subhanians of Technology in the stream of Electronics Communication Engineering in the year 2024. My skills are Shisha, SQL Server, HTML, CSS and JavaScript. My hobbies are playing cricket and watching movies. My strengths are I am a simple motivated person and a picky learner. My short term goal is to get a good job in the software company. And my long term goal is to achieve a big position in the same company. Okay, fine. So you told that you are a 2024 past out, right? Yes, so what is the month you have completed it? May, May. May, oh, okay, fine. So May to September almost like four months. Yes, May. So how do you invest that time uh, in your uh, in a path of jobs you are seeking? Yes, over this period, I have to invest it to learn the darknet full stack development and achieve by certain kind of proficiency in English. Oh, that's nice. So let's go to the technical wise. So yes. by the way, my name is Manaswini. Yes. I'm your technical uh, and communication testing uh, interview panel that I'm right before you. I'll be taking the round one for your freshers hiring. Uh, so I've been associated with Newson as a talent acquisition specialist for two years. So I've been seeing a lot of interviews over this time. So thank you so much for coming for the round one. And uh, let's go on with the flow of the interview. So. Um, so I do have few technical questions where my technical team has passed on. So I try to pose it to you. Okay. So can you tell me about uh, uh, good name Raghava, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Raghava, can you tell me about OOPS concepts? Yes, ma'am. OOPS stands for Objective Oriented Programming System. OOPS can categorize into four types: mm -hmm. encapsulation, inheritance, abstraction, mm -hmm. and polymorphism. Mm -hmm. I can explain one by one. Yeah. First, encapsulation. Encapsulation, encapsulation is the concept. Combination of code and the data into a single unit. Okay. Encapsulation provide code security. Mm -hmm. Next one, inheritance. Inheritance is the process to acquiring the one class properties to the other class properties. Mm -hmm. Inheritance represents easier relationship. Mm -hmm. Easier means parent and child relationship. Mm -hmm. Uh, here, child can ac access parent class properties, oh, but the parent okay. cannot access child class properties. Mm -hmm. To be a relationship with the mm. one class to another class, mm. we need to use polar, like extends people. Okay. Next one is abstraction. Mm. Abstraction is the process hiding the external details and showing the internal features. Mm. We can achieve abstraction in two ways. First one is abstract, abstract class, and the second one is the interface. Mm. Multiple forms. Mm. Mm -hmm. It is a combination of poly and morph. Mm -hmm. Poly means uh, many, mm -hmm. morph means uh, pumps. Okay. We can achieve polymorphism in two ways in Shisha. Okay. One runtime polymorphism and uh, compile time polymorphism. Mm -hmm. Compile time polymorphism can be achieved by runtime polymorphism can be achieved by method overriding. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's nice. Thank you so much for that. So, uh, can you tell me like the differences between DBMS and RDBMS? RDBMS stands for Relational Database Management System. Mm -hmm. RDBMS data can be stored in table format. Mm -hmm. uh, multiple users can uh, support it by RDBMS. Mm -hmm. Clients of the architecture yeah. also can support it by RDBMS. Next mm -hmm. DBMS. Mm -hmm. DBMS stands for Database Management System. Mm -hmm. DBMS can store the data into file format. Okay. Single user can support it by the DBMS. Mm -hmm. Clients of the architecture cannot support it by the DBMS. Mm -hmm. That is the difference. Okay, fine. So, okay, fine. So, this uh, this is well, uh, very a technical and basic question that I wanted to ask you on the last one. So, can you tell me about class and object? Yes, ma'am. Class is a blueprint of a program. Mm -hmm. Inside class, we mm -hmm. can write methods, variables, constructor. Mm -hmm. Class is a logical entity. Mm -hmm. We can create a class with mm -hmm. the class keyword, with the body also. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. So, um, fine, I'll just give you another one question there on the HR side, I want to test your communication. So, why should we hire you, Raghava? My professional experience and my professional experience has a huge similarity with this company. Mm. Uh, that is the one of the reasons, that, that is one of the reasons to hire me in this mm -hmm. opportunity. 
So can you tell me uh, what are your professional aspirations to be precise? I want to be I want to be a darkened developer. Okay, fine, fine. So fine. Uh, whatever you have told under technical and communication, I'll try to forward your candidature to my technical team, and they will get back to you. A recruiter from my team will get back to you with a round two, uh, round one feedback whether you're eligible for round two or round uh, three. And do you have any questions for me? Yes. Ma okay. Can you please tell me what what projects are going on? Oh, that's perfect. Thank you so much for that question. So right now we do have for .NET developers like you or other freshers who are working for us, we do have a, like uh, two three projects going on on hotcake uh, kind of mode, and those are really priority. And uh, our team needs to have even more support. That's why we are hiring you to have the backup for them. And domains of the those projects are automobile healthcare and uh, also hospitality industry as well. So those are the domains that we do have right now. And uh, once you be hired, you'll be gelling up with the process easily. Yeah, uh, still, do you have any questions? Sure. Thank you so much for your time, Kiraghava. I'll get back to you and I hope, so, hope to see you in the round two. Thank you.